So let's get into Supergirl. Yes. The end of last season was so heartbreaking for me. Oh my God. Because I was so excited about the whole Cara mon thing. I know. What was that like for you guys finally putting it on the screen and having all of the fans react to it? I, you know, I... <sighs> It was like it was so sad because you know you, when you're when you're putting a, a couple together and especially a couple like you know Chris and, and Melissa who yeah. have like such amazing chemistry, like knowing that there's like a tragic ending at the end and like yeah. nobody knows it. It was it was it was you know like it's like you know we we see the feedback and see like oh they're the cutest couple and like you know that meant like oh that means people are gonna be really upset when we do this at the end of the year. But it's a foregone conclusion that like, you know, your hero is going to save the day at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the season, you yeah. know, um, that they're gonna save the world, but it's like, but at what cost? And, you know, that was what we loved about that story. I will destroy city after city until your whole world is gone. <laughs> What was that like for you guys bringing in Terry Hatcher? And the fact that Terry Hatcher is my friend now. Terry Hatcher is my friend. I'm so excited. Um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, it, it was amazing. I mean, you know, we've had such amazing success with like what we call legacy casting, yeah. and I, you know, it always makes us smile and it makes us happy, and I think that the fans love it. And you know, and it's funny because when we initially sat down with Terry, she was like, you know, I've never played anything like this, yeah. and I said, that's what's fun about it. You know, like you're not Lois Lane. You're, you know, you're playing this queen and. And, and, you know, I said the highest compliment I can play her is that she played this very regal queen and it was so believable and she didn't use a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, which just goes to show how, what, what an unbelievable talent she was. But it was cool. I mean, especially, you know, you, you know, it's, it's, you know, when you want a villain of stature to be going up against your hero. Yeah. I mean, watching Melissa and Terry Hatcher fight to the death on a roof as spaceships are flying over their head. I mean, that was, that was, that was as epic as you can get. Obviously, we've got to talk about going into the new season. Mm -hmm. We know that mon is gone. Are we going to see mon then? Well, in the finale last year, we saw Manel's pod go into sort of a, 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 uh, a wormhole. Well, actually, uh, I didn't see it because I was crying. Oh, through the scene. tears, yes. So, yeah. We will find out his fate uh, this year and, 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 and what happened to him. And... The end of last season as well, there was a tease that I think a lot of comic book fans would pick up on, but maybe some people missed, but there's a word that's used, or a name, rain. Yeah. It will rain. Rain, who is uh, a big uh, DC Comics uh, villain from the Supergirl universe. Um, she's a world killer uh, from Krypton. Um, she's going to be our big bad for season three. And she's going to be played by uh, Odette Annabelle, which we're so excited about. And Rain is a villain unlike anything we not only that we've ever done on Supergirl but that we've ever done on Arrow or Legends yeah. or Flash so we're we, I couldn't be more excited you talk about on the show in particular doing legacy casting and seeing people finally come together are, are there any pairings or things that you saw chemistry that you were like we think they'll be chemistry but then they got on camera and you were like oh my god we're blown away by what we got I think probably the biggest surprise for us last season, and it wasn't we inten we hoped it would be, but just um, watching the audience response to Katie McGrath um, as Lena. I yep. mean, who uh, it's interesting because you know you start you know you'll have written three or four scripts with a character before you've cast them, mm -hmm. and so you sort of have an idea of what they're going to be. And and Katie came in and so made Lena her own, and you know turned her into her own iconic character yeah. like before our eyes, and. You know, watching her friendship with uh, Cara grow, which is actually going to be one of the centerpieces of this season, is watching the relationship between um, uh, Cara and Lena, and um, and so we're we're really excited that that you know it worked out that Katie came into our world. I'm really excited to see where their relationship goes because obviously. It can't be all sunshine and roses. It can't be all sunshine and roses. But I also think that, like, you know, I mean, one of the things that we're going to do this season is, is really also talk about female friendships. And, and you know, like, last season was a lot about table setting. But now you're, like, coming into this thing where, you know, like, Kara and Alex and Maggie and Lena, like, they can all be friends. Yeah. And, you know, watching the interpersonal relationships. And, and you know, last year, you know, Kara was kind of friends with... Alex and Maggie and she was friends with Lena and she was friends with James and Wynn and she you know and this season it's really about bringing everybody together um, and then watching everybody ping pong off of each other yeah thank you so much thank you. all new episodes of Supergirl return Monday October 9th